Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first video. But basically today, we got some great, awesome new tools to help you guys out with uh, your Bible reading. Have you ever had an issue where uh, you just can't seem to get time to read your Bible? Well, today we're going to go over a few tips and tricks on how to get your Bible reading done and also we're gonna go over some tools that you can use to get that done um, reading through the Bible in a year is a, a great thing for your Christian walk because you just learn so much more and you actually uh, get exposed to a lot of the stories that maybe the pastor the preaching doesn't actually get to and you get to read the entire Bible and not just pits, bits and pieces and you can actually biblically pursue uh, your the Bible in a way that actually gets the entire Bible so it's a good and it's an important step in the Christian faith to read your Bible so we're gonna go over how you can accomplish this in this this year 2024 and actually make it through the entire Bible in one year and I have some pretty cool tools for you to use so the first tool is a Excel spreadsheet from my favorite guy um, over at Romans Road the credits go to Romans Road he created and developed this Excel spreadsheet and you want to check his channel out it's uh, at Romans Road on YouTube um, that's uh, brother uh, Godwin T Godwin Thomas uh, I think he I believe he still goes to faith or uh, steadfast Baptist Church but I'm not positive on that so uh, but yep it's brother uh, Thomas he has this YouTube channel he's got some awesome videos to check out I definitely recommend heading over there subscribe to his channel but here's the uh, Excel spreadsheet that I'm talking about uh, this one right here uh, he made it about five years ago but he says that he uh, you know if there's errors and issues with it he updates it from time to time uh, but if you actually head to any of my videos on my channel so for example we click on Ezra chapter 8 here click down um, and click on uh, in the description click more you'll find there's a lot of useful links for you guys to take a look at and one of the um, uh, useful links that I have put in here is the link to his Bible uh, tracker right here Bible tracker so you click on that it brings you to this mega uploads downloads and all you have to do is click download that I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it but you guys can go ahead and click that download link and it's a good idea to uh, periodically maybe every year go ahead and download it from the same link because as I said Ro uh, brother Thomas I think updates this uh, whenever he needs to uh, whenever there, there's changes that need to be done or issues that arise so anyways um, let me actually bring up the Excel sheet because I don't forgot to open it so it'll take a little bit to load oh cool it loaded pretty fast this time so anyways here it is here's the Excel spreadsheet um, you you might think oh what keeping track on an Excel sheet that's gonna be kind of crazy but actually this is really innovative and really easy and actually really cool so let's take a look here's the uh, intro page if you click on the plan here you go here's all the check boxes for the Bible reading plan so as you can see um, each check box has chapters 1 through 4 or 5 through 8 or you know so on and so forth so basically if we go over to the reading plan tab it tells you how many 
checkboxes you have to read each day in order to read through the Bible at least one time. You only have to check box one checkbox per day. You don't have to do it in any particular order. Uh, I like to do it in order because I'm, you know, that's just the way that I am. I'm like a perfectionist type of style. But at the same time, it doesn't even matter. Like, if you don't feel like reading uh, Genesis, if you get burned out by trying to read it in order, don't do that. Go read the New Testament. There's the New Testament over here. As long as you get one check mark a day, who cares where you read? You know, as long as you can get that one check mark a day, read Psalms, read uh, Isaiah, Obadiah. You know, there's one chapter. Obadiah, you can just, it looks like it's just one check mark. It's just one chapter for that day. So that's awesome. Just click on that one, and just get it over with. Just read that. Get that easy one done out of the way. You know, so you don't have to read it in order. Don't get burned out. And don't be discouraged if you uh, you don't even end up reading all the check mark in that day. If you only end up reading one chapter or two or three, um, don't worry about it. Just pick up where you left off and keep going. It doesn't matter if come January uh, January first next year you're still not done. You're still not completely done. You still have like four or five or six or seven check boxes left. It doesn't matter. You can still get those done. And even if it's within, you know, in the year a little bit, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But anyways, what do you do when you, all you have to do is just click on this checkbox and it will automatically check it off. So let's say we, we read through all these which I, I actually have gone through that I got a head start because I finished my Bible reading uh, a little bit ahead of time um, for last year uh, although I didn't start it last year uh, so even for me like I'm not really the fastest reader of them all I you know so if I can get time and I can push myself to do it then anyone can you know anyone can do this anyone can read the bible in a year and just they can make it you know it's awesome but after you've checked them off you can actually click on this progress tab you can see how much progress you're you've made so right now obviously there's only like a few check boxes checked but it's about two percent of the old testament that's not bad it's not bad at the beginning of the year and it's only we already have two percent of the uh, Old Testament red that's great that's awesome um, so yeah I guess uh, if you were gonna go by what today is so this would be the first the second the third today is I believe the third yep today is the third so even if you're only at this you're still ahead of the game so let's go to that progress and that's about one percent of the old testament read almost one percent of the entire bible but if you're more of a if you want more of a challenge um you could obviously set your goal on two two times a year or three times a year or even four times a year you just have to get accordingly the amount of check boxes so two check boxes for two a year, three check boxes for three a year, and four check boxes for four times a year. That's crazy. But I mean, if you can do it, more power to you. Like, that would be awesome. Yeah, because you'll learn a lot by reading the Bible, by just reading the Bible on your own, having the Holy Spirit guide you. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn a lot. Um, uh, so anyways, that is the Excel spreadsheet in a nutshell. Uh, I am going to try to make my own, kind of use the same development method. And I am going to try to make one maybe next year, maybe in the next few months even, where it's one checkbox per chapter. So that way, if you're discouraged and you... Um, 
want to, you can only like read one or two chapters a day. You don't have to feel discouraged that you didn't get a check box that day. You can just go at your own pace and check off one at a time, one chapter at a time. So I'm going to try to develop that and that'll be kind of cool to see uh, as well. Because obviously this is kind of maybe a little bit discouraging because you have to get, but at the same time, it's like, well, if your goal is to get it done in a year, this is what you need. You need to be able to check my box off at least one of these a day. So it makes sense. But uh, if you, you know, I think that the other chart might be fun for those who, hey, you know, as long as you can get one chapter a day, that's phenomenal. Like you don't have to have the entire Bible read in a whole year. As long as you're reading the Bible, that is a major step. Because the vast majority of Christians don't read their Bible. So it is definitely worth it. And then obviously, uh, if you're not the greatest reader, we obviously have Bible audio that you can read or listen to. I mean, you know, especially my channel has tons of Bible audio. I'm all, I'm going through the, the Bible in order but I'm all the way up to Ezra chapter eight. So that's enough Bible listening to that you can, that you can uh, go through and start Genesis. And who knows, maybe by the time you get to Ezra, uh, I'll have a lot more Bible audio because I'm going to try to shoot for uploading one a day. Uh, and since I'm almost done with the hymns, I'm thinking of maybe uploading uh, Bible audios on the weekend as well. So that'll be pretty cool to look forward to. Okay. So what about who those who don't have a computer and, you know, an Excel document, it's kind of hard to open on a mobile device, right? So for those people, and this is what I use daily, um, I use an, a King James Bible app from Warp Studio Bibles. Here's the app here. And basically, um, it is a pretty awesome app. I definitely recommend it. I have it downloaded on my device. Um, just, I'll put a link in the description below um, so you can obtain the app. Uh, it should automatically, since it is the Play Store, I'll put a, I have an Android device. That's why I have this one, this link up. But anyways, you click on that link and it should uh, ask you to open up the Play Store and you can just click install directly from there. If you don't want to click the link, you can obviously just open up your Play Store or Apple Store, Google King James Bible app. There's going to be a ton of other King James Bible apps and you can try all those ones out. But this one, I really enjoy this one a lot uh, and I'm gonna showcase a little bit on why this one's so so good there is a few things that could be better about it but for the most part it's pretty good and it's from warp studio Bibles so if you're trying to look for it yourself uh, just try to look for that warp studio Bibles um, excuse me uh, company so anyways, let's go ahead and I'll showcase this. This is my phone. I did a screen record of it. So let's go ahead and go through this. So right off the bat, you get like a, a cool like, here, let's pause that actually. So we can, you get like a verse of the day kind of th dealy. So you can uh, go into the app and actually start your day off with a verse of the day kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then... And then there's even more daily verses that you can read as well. Uh, but the coolest thing is you can click and you can see uh, the Old Testament, New Testament into categories. Um, so that's pretty neat. Different color codes for each. And then, of, of course, the progress is like the biggest thing. You can actually use this app to check off your Bible reading progress. So... 
as you can see, it lists all 1,190 or 89 chapters in the Bible, and you can check them all off um, as you're reading. And you can, and you, while you read, I'll just show you real quick. When you're reading, you read through, and when you're done, you just click on this checkbox here. And when you click that chat box, um, it will it will check that that uh, chapter off. So I just clicked it, and as you can see now, it has thirty three percent of Naaman uh, checked off. Na I think that's how you pronounce that. Nahum, Nahum. So that's one chapter checked off and you can check your progress and it's just it's really a great app the only issue that i've had and obviously uh, or the only issue that i've had with this app is that once you're done with the uh once you're done with um checking off the entire bible you've read it all the way through uh the only way to reset it and maybe maybe I just don't know how to actually reset it all maybe there is an option for it I tried to look for it but I couldn't find it but anyways you can't there's no way there's no button to just reset the entire thing from the beginning and check it all off you have to go to each chapter you have to go to each chapter click on it and click uncheck I mean, you can uncheck the entire chapter, so you don't have to uncheck every single checkbox. That would be insane and probably unusable then, because then it's like, after I've checked it all off, I can literally, I'm not going to sit here and uncheck 1,189 checkboxes. That's insane. You know, you you wish that there probably would, should be like a reset button. Maybe there is, and maybe I just can't find it. And then the great thing about this app too is it's completely downloaded to your phone. So even if you don't have internet, see it has it how it's on airplane mode there. Um, you can read your Bible without the internet. So you don't have to have the internet on there. Um, I did buy the premium version because it will display ads. If you are connected to the internet, it will display some ads. Um, and I thought the ad, ad app was good enough to be go ahead and just purchase the the app, so I didn't have to have the ads there. So definitely worth it. I like the app; it's definitely awesome. Um, and we can take a look at some of the reviews too and see. Uh, this guy said this is a solid app. I I would love to see random button in the app like these some. Sometimes opening the physical book and having faith about what is shown is right on time. Allowing a similar option with a digital text would be stellar. Perhaps it would be, it would give the word some room to move. Great app. Not sure. Sometimes opening a physical book and having faith about it shows right on time i don't even know what <laughs> i don't really know what he's trying to say but i mean he he likes the app so that's all that matters i guess let's read this one i really love this app great version and very helpful all the way down the notes and i can see the verses on as you read only wish there was an audio to listen to the verses as well also if possible a button to further explain in a short summary what each verse is talking about like a study bible would be great and appreciate it thanks i actually disagree with this guy i don't think we should have i i'm definitely anti study bible i think you need to read the bible on your own with the holy spirit guiding you um a lot of times when you have these study bibles uh, the people who wrote the study bibles aren't necessarily saved they're false prophets and they're writing all kinds of weird stuff so you don't necessarily want a study bible you need to read the bible on your own um but i digress <laughs> let's go ahead and give him that he likes the app so it's all good
but I'm glad that's one of the things that I like about the app is it doesn't have a bunch of study notes and a bunch of study junk from all kinds of uh, popular pastors that everybody likes that um, you know obviously are not teaching right um, and another thing is it's King James Version you need to read the King James Version of the Bible uh, the modern Bibles are not your friend they have been corrupted and obviously that's another time and another video we can go through that later in another video but thank you guys so much for tuning in I think that's about all that I got um, let me think oh yeah obviously there's another thing that we have and that is reading the Bible is important and an amazing thing but also getting saved is more important for sure uh, a lot of people think they know that they're saved uh, and they think that they're going to heaven and a lot of people maybe don't know maybe they're unsure on whether they're saved or not but I have the video right here for you if you feel led to click on this video click on this video watch it all the way through listen to the gospel of Christ there's a lot of false teaching out there unfortunately when it in regards to Christianity and faith and salvation uh, but you can know for sure whether you're going to heaven today you can know a hundred percent that you're gonna go to heaven and you click on that video today right here it's the first video on my channel and also I'll have it in the link in the description there's also a card up up in the corner uh, up here in the corner no nope, up here in the corner there'll be a card right there that you can click on it'll bring you to this video click on it and you can learn how you can be saved today a lot of people are confused and deceived by people thinking that they have to do works and they have to live a good life salvation is so easy and simple you need to click on this video to find out how to get saved and here we go here is the gospel presentation listen to this video go through that and you can get saved today you can be saved today it's not hard to be saved it's easy don't let anyone deceive you into thinking that you must do this or do that you know salvation is so easy it truly is and God tells us that is a gift it's a gift from God so please head over to this video click on it get saved today thank you so much guys for tuning in um, obviously if you're click clicked on this video you're probably already saved anyways because you want to read the Bible and you want to read the King James version of the Bible and you want to read the true Word of God but anyways Lord or pfft, Lord <laughs> well yeah I guess we can go ahead and pray guys let's go ahead and pray and uh, wrap this thing up dear Lord thank you so much for this day thank you so much for this video thank you so much for this channel thank you so much for all the people who follow uh, here at this channel and listen to the, your word through the Bible audio and the hymns thank you so much Lord for all that you've done and blessed me with and I just pray that you uh, bless uh, the people who are watching this and help them to have a great time and and motivate them to read the Bible in a year or maybe two times a year or maybe even just at if, if, if they can't do that just read at their own pace Lord as long as they can get at least one chapter a day you know that's that's awesome so Lord just I pray for everybody here pray for everybody watching and I pray that uh, everyone will be led to come if they're not saved and they're not sure they can come to this video watch it through and get saved today Lord thank you so much for all that you've done blessed us with and I pray in Jesus name we pray amen all right guys that's all I have God bless see ya